could be taking control, yeah. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dylan, welcome back to the channel, hopefully each and every single one of you are feeling fun and fantastic today, we're joined by the one and the only Tanya. Hi! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we are watching the world's best review show. Every video we have watched from this guy has been incredible and uh, jaw-dropping and mouth-watering. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've watched a... F a, a couple a couple of different channels and at the moment i dare say that he's still for me the better one mm -hmm. yeah i agree with you he still is the better one for me he's the better one uh, let me know guys if you agree but for me he's been the best one so far if there's other ones if there's more then we'll take a look and we'll take a look at the ones we've already taken a look at as well guys don't worry we will look at all the food channels um that have to do with india because we want to learn the culture mm -hmm, exactly. and this is why we're doing it because we we want to learn the culture of of india a lot more we're not watching someone eat food and try different food for the sake of it mm -hmm. no we want to see the different types of food we want to see someone else eating a different culture mm -hmm. someone experiencing it because we want to make it feel like it's us and that's what that's the whole point of me choosing these videos to react to and also take a, take ideas and write them down for when we go of to course India. of course exactly in the future so we know where to go and what to eat and what's the best and this and that exactly and it's not just butter chicken butter chicken exactly. you know what i mean <laughs> because literally that's my favorite indian dish but seeing all these other types of dishes, wh whether it's lentils, whether it's chickpeas, it gives me ideas to make in my house. It mm -hmm. gives us ideas to make here. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to this. Today's title is quite interesting. It's, it's a challenge video that he's done. And what is the title called? Indian Street Food $100 Challenge in Mumbai. Best Street Food in Mumbai. $100 straight food. Okay, he's either going to be a big fat balloon after the end of it, or he's Probably, not going to... Probably, judging by the price of... Or elves. he's not going to get anywhere in it. No, I think... Did you see that big platter that he had? There was, there's that, no way. There's no way he's... Unless he's doing it with a party or something, there's no way he's going to do $100. For himself? No. No way. No. And in one day, if he does it in one day, oh my gosh, even worse. If he does a hundred in one day, hundred dollars in one day, he'll be in the to he'll be on the toilet for two months straight. Seriously, <laughs> with all the different spices. Oof. Probably. Anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to this very much. If you are too, do not forget to drop a big thumbs up on this video as well as hit that subscription button down below. And remember, ladies and gentlemen. To be cool. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Here it is, the monstrosity, the Hulk. Oh my god! At one kilogram, this thing is gigantic. Is that bread? Let's try it out. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That looked really the yum. Street food challenge that looked really yum. Around the globe, oh. in Korea, we tried luxurious lobster tail covered in molten oh, cheese. Oh, dude, we have to watch his Korean Japan, ones. Oh my god! Ice cream cone covered in real gold. Ten dollars. We have to so watch his Korean ones. Look at that, man. Now we're in Mumbai, India, and I'm challenging Did myself see that to lady? spend one hundred dollars like, on street food oh. in a single day. <laughs> So will I be victorious? This is 15 bucks. We only need to spend like 85 more dollars today. Or will I look like a fool? I think people saw the title and they're like, how are you going to pull this off? <laughs> I'll be joined I by did. a local foodie <laughs> expert. As soon as I Natasha saw the title. Of curly tails, and she knows her stuff. It's such a vibrant city. You'd find the richest man living in the city and you'd find the poorest of the poor living in the city and you'd mm. barely see the disparity. Everybody comes to eat that street food. So hit the Stairmaster and prepare your deli belly. Today we're eating big in Mumbai, India. Whoa. Oh my god. Pretty cool. I'm 
so lucky the camera is facing up now, not facing down at me. Stop Gosh. one, the dancing dabelli. In order to entice patrons and get some attention for his sandwiches, this man dances or, um... Yeah, that's dancing, right? Oh. Hey! Is he yelling at me? No. Okay, did I? Um, India is the best, that kind of thing. Hey! <laughs> what do we have right here? <laughs> right here, you have the amazing dancing <laughs> dabeli. Now, a dabeli is found all over Mumbai, but this dabeli is special. They're putting like uh, incense underneath? Actually, to keep away everything and for the effects. You know oh. how you have these street side smoke effects? We're in a Bollywood movie right now, aren't we? we? Are. Oh, <laughs> he's got the bread. He dramatically rips them apart, carefully slicing each one. It's not actually that careful. I think he might cut himself at some nope. point. Don't think so. Now he's ready. We've got a bun. Sweet chutney, the garlic chutney, potato mix, onions, peanuts, and now he's just going to fry them in butter. Oh, man. Oh. Well done. Okay, I never on, thought people. that. I'm okay, we got a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I never I thought like a, a bread roll could like be so yum. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mung flour shavings. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Ah, the bun here is super toasty, crunchy. Let's just jump into it. Dip it into that stuff. Mmm. Oh. Yes? Did you even get any? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Compare those bites. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is so yummy. The masala is not too intense, which is nice. The peanut, I love peanut oh. in a sandwich. It's like extra, extra chunky peanut butter in there. And it's toasty oh. peanuts, right? It's not just like, right? yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Everything that fell out, I'm going to scoop it up like a nacho chip. That is oh my heavenly. Oh my gosh. Might have come up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice buttery, crunchy bun on the outside, full of dynamic flavors. It's a little oh. bit spicy too. Yeah. Oh, 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 We've come to our second See, location right here. This guy is I think it's a so big lentil fluff, like fluffy lentil mashed potatoes. So it's actually gram fluff. This is one of the most hot selling dishes here and it's called khamuni. Khamuni? Yes. Khamani. And you also get to eat that with green chilies. Do you think you can do that? I can, yeah. I can, can we pretend? Like I'll take a bite and spit it out and then like <laughs> we'll edit it so it looks like I ate it. Is that okay? That's what I do all the time. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> So right oh now, he's put some of the fluff on so the plate. So simple, but gram delicious. Flour on Look top at that. that. Coriander. Oh. Coriander. A big handful of onion, a couple hot chilies, and then some little mirrors. They do. Dude, they do they love co uh, coriander. coriander. So you can check in your India, teeth, they uh, love coriander. The end. It's called jugard in India. Wait, I thought jugard just meant like make it work. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. We're making it work. We don't have spoons. We're not oh. using plastic. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to curve it a little bit. Let's try it out. Oh, no. It's amazing, isn't it? Mmm. It's a little sweet, a little salty. I didn't understand one thing you said, fresh, but I think she said it's is amazing. A, nice texture, a little bit crunchy onion texture. Yeah. Oh, that's but nice. that's good because they play a lot with the textures. Yeah. The noodles are crunchy. Oh, the rest yes. are smashy. Why would you mess it up by eating chili? That's what's <laughs> so amazing about <laughs> food like is that there's different textures that you can play <laughs> with. Don't believe it. Ready? Oh. Yeah, take a bite. I'm going to take a bite. You're not gonna? No, what it's the? too spicy for me. She <laughs> walks me through this huge tutorial and then she's like, but I'm not gonna. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, huh. Oh, it's not that bad. Mm -mm. Yeah. Does it add a little zing? Yeah, it adds a little zing. A little chili flavor. I love it. India has some of the most affordable street food yeah. of anywhere in the world. But there's a lot of reasons for it. And one of them oh. is the choice of ingredients and kind of the creativity with the ingredients. Yeah, how one thing can be used for like oh right my God. dishes. Yeah. Even here, we have the kind of the gram flour Get off mash. The grass. And then we have oh the shaved Lord. gram flour on top yes. giving a texture. Yes. Oh. This is awesome. I got it nowhere, but it don't feel so good. Hey, 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 yeah. Out in the middle of the street. <laughs> we reached our next food location. What we are having is an aloo piaz kachori, onion potato mixture that's ah. stuffed in corn flour. Right. So this has been stuffed already. Yes, with onion, oh. potato, and a little bit of spices, mm. all of it mixed together. And it's deep fried. Okay. He this kind of rips pretty. it apart oh. and then he puts on this sweet chutney, oh my. green chutney, the shaved gram flour, onions, and course. more chilies. <laughs> oh. 
on the edges, it's nice and crispy. It's heavy. Oh. And you're going to eat like a true Indian, so you're going to use your... Okay, please, like a do a slow-mo bite or something, please. Oh, that's a nice please. big bite. You've got oh, some onions, dude. coriander, all it on top. Let's go for it. Wow, that mint chutney is so fresh, but man, that is a heavy food. Yeah, it's really heavy. It's a bit spicy, got a little bit of crunch oh. on the outside, but oh. otherwise it's just kind of like a, a thick savory pudding on the inside. But you know, you oh can actually customize God. this. So if you want it sweeter, you just add a bit more of the red chutney, and if you want it spicy, oh you just add the green chutney. Well, or this. Or, or that. And, and more chili, okay. Uh -huh. Go for it. Ready? He's and definitely go. going to the toilet today. Mmm. Oh, the chili is magic. Really? Mm hmm It soaked up a lot of that oil. It is so heavy. It's really heavy. But I love it. Just a few foods in and There's still not slow anywhere close to one hundred dollars. <laughs> Dude, Natasha come on, they're two dollars really twenty have to in. Are you kidding me? How are they going to get <laughs> two twenty in? Two twenty. Yeah, so right now. Just excited about the huge diversity of food here. Right now we What's have another this? one. What is this? This one's called ragda puri. Okay, have you had a pani puri before? I've had a pani puri. You take, you take. Can I, they take a crisp such as this. They hollow out the top. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they gently hollow out the top and then they put in some like bean and uh, green water and things like that and you eat it. Absolutely. Now with ragda puri, what they do is that they take the same I thing. I hope you pay for that. Ragda, which is made of family <laughs> That's how he's eating so much without paying that, and then you add <laughs> a lot of money. It's like a lentil. So he's going to mix them up right now? <laughs> yeah. He starts with the crisp, putting a hole into it. And then so he's got this little mixture in this yeah, side pan. Yeah, mixture. So that's the moong, the potato, a little bit of spices. He's putting all of it in the puri. Now he's adding ragda. Oh, and that goes inside of each yeah. one. Yeah. Some of the green chutney, some red chutney. It just keeps going. More salt, chan masala. Some red chili powder. And of Whoa. course, Oh my same. lord, it never ends. That's coriander. Yeah, some peanuts. All right, that's you, brilliant. It, it, it's not topped off until there's coriander. They always put coriander there. Here. I'm gonna use my hand. Today we are true Indians. Yes, you don't use a spoon <laughs> for this. Sir, we are true Indians today. We're true Indians. He's like, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yes, you want another one? Yes. Okay. Right, I'm gonna grab from back here. He's like, uh, just shut up and pay me. <laughs> wow, so much flavor, so crispy. It's salty, it's sweet, crunch on the outside. Oh. The only thing you've got to do is go really quick and eat it fast. I'm getting so getting hungry. I am getting, getting so kind of hungry. And so hungry. You gotta be fast. Here we go. A tsunami of flavor. That is delicious. Mm. It is really yum. And again, just kind of similar things that we've had all day today. But they all taste so different. In a different wrapping, different combo. Mm. So it gives you new sensations every time. That's right. I love it. Just the dog chilling in the middle of the road. I'm seeing just the dog chilling themes in the middle of the road. All the street food here. But here it's all about this giant cracker. Is that the one we're getting? Yes. It's called a masala kichia. That sounds nice. Ooh. I want to name my daughter that. A masala kichia. Good morning, masala kichia. <laughs> You got a big day today. You got to go to school and explain your name to everybody. What is a cracker made out of? It's made of corn and a little bit of rice, sabudana. Mm. And it's going to add a little ghee as well. Ghee? Yeah. Oh, God, I love ghee. Thank you for doing that. Yes, and then the smash. A tornado of onions, and there's some tomato here with cucumber, cabbage, all diced up. Some spices and red chili powder. Wow. This is a green chutney, sweet chutney. Shame oh. for your lover. And, and then we got coriander. coriander. And then what was the last bit? Chana dal, chana dal. Here we have our Mate, you don't even nachos. Need We're gonna me. grab look the chips now. And honestly, when you look at this big layer of food, you can't tell where the chips are. You gotta kinda feel for it. Let's go. Mmm. There's a little cucumber, but it's not bad. I don't mind like a little mini hint of cucumber mixed with a lot of other stuff. I'm kinda surprised it's a bit like dry. In yeah, your mouth. it's a little dry. Mm. It's a great yummy snack. It's actually a bit lighter than some of the other stuff we had. If you're looking to not eat something so heavy, it's very nice. How much money have we spent so far, do you think? Less than two dollars. Are you? S <laughs> we have pulled up at our final destination. We are at Om um Snacks. This it's must literally be that Mumbai's big sandwich biggest sandwich. Resort. Weighing in at oh one kilogram. Five one layers. kilogram. Five layers. Cheese, veggies, goat's cheese, more veggies, and just mm. five layers of bread. You think you can handle it? I think I can handle it. I also like how we accidentally did a vegetarian tour today. How did yeah. that happen? Because a lot of street food is vegetarian. That's fair. India yeah. is like the only place you can go to eat vegetarian all day and not even really realize it. I didn't eat any animals today. Yeah. Let's meet the guy. Was this your idea? Yes, sir. Why, 
Why? Why have you done this? It is too so flavorful. It's too cheesy. It's amazing. It's a lovely thing. You will love it. Do people usually finish it? They are actually finding that person. It needs minimum three people to finish it. Whoa. That's how big it is. <laughs> well, today, I'm going to take it upon myself. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. There's no right way now, he's going to finish it. The creation of this sandwich, my man. A little bit of margarine, a little bit of Thank green you. chutney, layer of tomato, then green peppers, chaat masala. Oh, it's processed cheese. cheese. And then more margarine, more bread, more green. That's one there. Wait, so what is this one that they're putting on? Oh my god. Oh, what sauce? It's an in house sauce. You look like a little kid trying to look at the sandwich being made. <laughs> <laughs> What's back there? Even more cheese on top of that. Margarine on the bread. A little bit more green. Oh and my then gosh. that's it. I think that. Oh, oh no. no. Not that more finished yet. margarine. More green. More onion oh. now. Oh, that's goat's cheese. I'm pretty sure that's paneer. Oh, chaat masala. And then a little bit more cheese. This is the white kind. Oh no, he's not done. More margarine on the bread. More green chutney. <laughs> this is a whole new layer. We haven't seen this, have we? <laughs> looks like some onion masala mix. Oh, more cheese, another piece of bread. Oh, that's mayo. Oh. Mayo? That looks like marshmallow. I wish my body could more handle cheese. that much cheese. Oh, God, no oh, oh, jeepers. This is all the layers right here. They're going to put this oh monstrosity in gosh. some sort of oven that's to bake like it. like a One cheese kilogram of homer. sandwich goodness. Stuck in the How much is that? Oh, 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 oh. How much do you reckon it costs? I reckon here it is, the $3. The Hulk. Oh. Oh. I reckon three, uh, three, three, three fifty. What do you usually do in this situation? Do you put on more cheese? That's okay. Listen, that's still not a small sandwich. Yes. Are you satisfied with the size? <laughs> Is that all question? Oh, I just realized what he said. <laughs> Guys, we have a here. Oh, it's a big cut. Classic style reveal of even more layers inside. Let's try it out. <laughs> Too big. Too oh, big. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, a little mushy mashy inside, a little crunchy on the outside. Whoa. How, how big is it? How big are his bites? <laughs> Dude, it's almost half of it. It's like he's dislocated his jaw you just to open down, his really, mouth. That cheesy layer, that's what we want is that oh. cheese. Oh, what is that, mayonnaise? <laughs> Mm. Oh, <laughs> that is like a creamy, fluffy mayo. This is really good. I'm it pretty reminds impressed. me of this a, is a good yeah. food. Huh? Yeah. Take one more bite. Yep. Mm. It's a big monstrosity. I did not expect oh. to see this in Mumbai or in India. Period. This single was worth it, Dylan would have loved that. That would have been my called, right? single Mumbai man's is food the right there. Of sandwiches. Is it? No. No. But they do like sandwiches. No, yeah, we do like us. In the city of sandwiches, this sandwich is the mayor. Is that right? Do you guys have a mayoral system? No. <laughs> Definitely, when I was single, oh that's the type God. of dish that, or a type of meal I would eat to eating. myself. When you add it all up, the food cost this much money. Did we get to $100? Oh. <laughs> no way. Seven twenty nine. So what did we wow. learn today? And I'd be it it exploding already. One hundred dollars worth of street food in Mumbai. Oh, to be full after the buns. Yeah. Maybe in one year. Maybe in five years. Indian street food is the perfect intersection of affordability and yumness, elevating simple ingredients to their highest potential with dynamic flavors and, and joyous textures. Natasha, exactly, that's what I was about to say. And again, textures, so dude. The texture, just imagine that crunch with the soft. Oh my god. This gosh. video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Chang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. Do you want to do it again? Yep. <laughs> no, only one chance. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. What can I say other than delicious, delicious, delicious? <laughs> Seriously, it, it's it, what, 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 like we were just saying, and like we, he was discussing the different textures. Mm within the Indian culture, within the Indian food culture, is so incredible. You don't have just one consistency, like, for example, all, all soup, mm. yeah? All water, all crunch. No, there's different textures within. So, for example, that one, uh, was it uh, but, but a puri? What, what was it? The one you, you, you poke a little hole yeah. in it? Mm -hmm. And you've got the crunch factor from the actual 
what would it be? It would be like a uh, a flaky sort of flour deep fried, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. like a yeah. like a chip sort of, yeah, yeah. like a potato yeah. sort of chip sort mm-hmm. of thing, yeah. And you have that crunch factor. Poke the hole in it, and you add so much moisture inside of it that it just counteracts each other. And in your brain, honestly, the human brain is so amazing when it comes to food, guys. Research about the human brain when it comes to food about stimulation it's sensational the different the different signs our brains send to our whole body when we're eating food with different textures Mm -hmm. our brain is saying oh yeah nice crunch and then all of a sudden boom we get hit with a different flavor or a different sort of texture our brain goes crazy and it's like oh Mm -hmm. i know that sounds weird but go research it and have a look at all the videos that you'll find online about it it is nuts. Mm. The electric the electric waves that are sent through our brain when it when when different textures hit our mouth all at once. Unbelievable. It's true. It's, they say that crunchy foods make you more satisfied than than soggy or or just soft. Soft 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 soft, food, soft, yeah? soft makes you relax. Mm-hmm. Crunchy soft foods. makes you makes you like your brain it sends a message to your brain saying that you're full mm-hmm. or that you are satisfied because mm-hmm. usually when you want to eat something like you feel like eating something usually it's like cereal or biscuits yeah. things like that that are crunchy correct because yeah. our brain likes crunchy foods that's why correct. when you have that those different um, kind of of like Textures. yeah no but you fr- you have one that's fried the other one that's boiled the other one that's yeah. mashed yes and you yes. put it all together it's like a yeah it's what you were saying it's like it's a brain it's a brain gasm mm-hmm. yeah. it's a brain orgasm our brain has an orgasm it, it and it's true guys you may think that we're we're stupid what we're exp- explaining but we're not no, it's, true. It's, true. <laughs> it's 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 true 100 percent 100 percent yeah and um i didn't learn any of this in a book i didn't learn any of this at school nah. <laughs> so pro- probably we can if we go to india or when we go to india we probably can can pass with 100 dollars for the week or whatever we, we I, are there for i knew he wouldn't get past nah, 100 man no there's way. no way but i think he does that challenge everywhere he goes Ah, yeah, now I see, yeah. yeah, Japan Street Food $100 Challenge yeah. in As- uh, Asakusa. Asakusa. Yeah, so they, he does it everywhere, and this time it was like, okay, let's try it now, nah, there's no way. <laughs> so, yeah, if he spent he spent $7 between him and the girl, mm. and they ate, mm-hmm. you, can, you can pass with that food probably all day. Yep. So, say that you spent $10 a day for two people. Mm-hmm. You can if you if you're a family of four, you can you can almost spend a week. But that's like that in Bali. If you remember when we went to Bali, you 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 were seeing people walk around the streets with plastic bags and give them to people like plastic bags full of full meals, yeah, yeah? with like rice yeah, and different yeah, meats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember? It's true, it's true. And they used to come in with 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 the with the bucket on their head full of food and. So the people working at all the different stores, they would say, oh, you want some lunch? You want some lunch? Yeah. And the people will buy the lunch and it'll be very, very cheap. Like, so cheap that we we didn't want to try it. Yeah, we were scared because people said... <laughs> we were said, terrified. People said that foreigners get sick when yeah. it comes to eating street so food usually. It's called Bali Belly or something yeah. like that, yeah? Yeah. And we didn't want to go to Bali and be trapped in our hotel with uh, an upset tummy yeah but then we ended up buying from that restaurant remember yes yes and how much was it it was like one three dollars no two one how much was it i no it was two two australian dollars and you got a huge a huge thing of rice a huge container of rice and then a whole pile of um uh satay kebabs mm, yeah remember it's like a satay kebab. I can't... I, honestly, I cannot remember a lot from the trip to Bali. I cannot remember. That's why I said we should have videoed camera, but I've never thought about it. Yeah. I never thought about it at all. You guys would have loved it. You guys would have loved the footage that we could have taken. Well, we can go back. Yeah. 
Right? Definitely, definitely you have to go back. And we'll have to go we'll have to go back with, with mum because mum loves barley. Mm. Absolutely loves barley. Anyway, guys, remember stay safe, be kind to one another, but most importantly, be happy. Exactly. Bye. Peace.